Uh, has the Lok Sabha speaker been fair in punishing MPs? 42% say yes, 37% say no. But it will also depend, Amitabh Tiwari, on what uh, Speaker Om Birla does in this case because this is based on his past reputation and there haven't been too many matters where BJP MPs have been way out of line and therefore people, the greater number of people think that he's being fair. But if he doesn't act, then it will build the perception that he isn't being fair. Yeah, so he needs to act fast as you're mentioning. And in this question, there is a contradiction if you see it out. The opposition feels that he has not been fair. Whereas the NDA supporters feel that he has been fair. No, and but the there haven't is... been too many instances of BJP MPs making obnoxious comments. So there hasn't been an opportunity to judge his fairness or unfairness before this. This is a litmus test for him. Yeah, so this is a, this is a litmus test for him. And what BJP also needs to realize is that, as Yashwanji has said, that there is a large section of neutrally ideological voter which votes for the BJP. And these issues impact the neutral or the swing voter. You look at data closely, Amitabh, what's your sense of how many, as a percentage, what percentage of BJP voters do you think are ideologically neutral, who vote for them for development, for what they think of the Prime Minister, not because of the Hindutva ideology? So, even if you go by India Today's uh, exit poll 2019, it says only 31% of the voters in India have voted for the same party again and again. So you can say that that's a ballpark number for a ideological voter, where a 69% is a neutral or a voter which keeps on swinging. The other way to look at it is, let's say, BJP's worst performance in the recent times has been around 20% vote share in 2009, whereas Congress has bottomed out at 20%. So around 40% are ideologically aligned. There's a large section, 60% of voters, 60 to 70% is non-aligned. And that is what we are seeing in these, in these surveys. 63% or 65% of NDA supporters, which translates into, by the way, almost 30% vote share of the BJP or the NDA is not happy with the action of the speaker and the party and the leadership on this issue. Okay, I want to take the last question. Will this hurt BJP's attempts to woo Pasmanda Muslims? 76% say yes, 12% say no. Uh, Yashwan Deshmukh, was that ever really going, was that something you thought the BJP was doing for symbolism to show that uh, even the Muslim community is part of BJP's outreach? Or was there ever a real chance to break away a part of the Pasmanda vote in substantial numbers and bring it uh, onto the BJP bandwagon? Well, we wouldn't know, Rahul, because the thing is that if they were really trying hard you know, uh, to, to woo Paswanda Muslims in, and reaching out, trying to reach out in that way, but these kind of incidents, they, they put everything back to square one. So obviously, uh, if, they, if, if, if uh, they would have contained these kind of speeches, they would have actioned and neutralized the, these kind of uh, behavior. Uh, probably, we would have, might have seen some kind of deviation we would have reported if we got in data. But what I'm simply trying to say that they were trying hard, no doubt about that. We have seen in policy and the speeches and everything. But uh, what public is saying that, okay, if you were trying hard, but uh, make sure these kind of things don't happen because if you are trying hard and doing the, these kind of things at the same time, they just don't match. They cancel out each other. It's not going to have any impact whatsoever. Okay. So we're going to wrap up this week's edition of the Political Stock Exchange. We were able to look at the mood in Chhattisgarh, which suggests the Congress has the clear edge, even though they're coming down from their highs of 2018. Uh, the BJP is bouncing back from the last election where it was defeated massively, but not being able to close the gap enough to actually go past the Congress. And on the Biduri affair, whether you're a BJP voter or a Congress voter, there is very strong disapproval and a demand for greater action. You can't have in this new parliament or anywhere at all MPs making such comments about uh, communities.